Hey everybody, RC here from Kelby Training, D-Town TV, and AboutRC.com, and I'm here to talk to you about a new plugin that's out from our friends over at 500px. This is going to be one of my favorite plugins to be able to use because it allows me to be able to connect my 500px account with my favorite program, Lightroom. So not only do you get a way to be able to export stuff into 500px, but you also have an option to be able to manage your comments and take a look at ratings and read comments right from inside of Lightroom. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to be able to do this. Now, my 500px account is over here at 500px.com forward slash about RC. We'll keep that handy. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I've already downloaded the zip file for the plugin. When you unzip it, you get this LR plugin area. Now, obviously, you would store this wherever you store your own plugins. If you have a specific directory or if you just put them in the default directory for Lightroom. But what's going to happen is you're going to go under the file menu inside of Lightroom and you're going to go to your plugin manager. Inside of the plugin manager, you have all of the different types of plugins that you have installed inside of Lightroom. All you need to do at this point is just click on the add. Inside of here, you're going to navigate to wherever you have this plugin saved. Once you have that, you're going to click on add plugin. And you'll notice that now it says that it's installed and running. I'm going to click on done. Now, what I want to be able to do from here is I want to be able to take a look right here under the Publish Services section inside of my library module. You'll notice that now, directly under the Publisher Services, you have your hard drive, you have your 500px, and this is what we're looking at here. You'll see that to the right, it has a word that says Setup. Click on the Setup button, and I'm going to go ahead and type in RC's 500px account. I'm not logged in. Do I want to log in? Yes, I do want to log in. So I'll put in my login username and I'll put in my login password. As soon as I log in, you immediately are there. So everything is good. Now, once you save, all the collections in your portfolio will be created inside of Lightroom. Photos published to my portfolio can also be published to the public profile. That's fine. You have an advanced publishing screen. But more importantly, the thing that I want to be able to take a look at is this part right here, right? You're saving automatically. It always saves as a JPEG image, but you can change the quality by which you want to be able to save. So that's entirely up to you. If you want to be able to enact any kind of sharpening in post, you can use this output sharpening section. And I know that sometimes people would like to sharpen just a tad bit for a screen. If you want to be able to hide metadata information on the image that you're working with, you can click on the checkbox here for minimizing the embedded metadata. Now, if you want to be able to share, you know, f-stop and exposure and things like that in your image, it's a good idea that you leave that unchecked so that you can kind of share and have that kind of communal aspect when you're working with your images inside of Lightroom. Once you have all of that stuff set, you're going to click on the save button here. And you're going to notice that now you have all of your stuff set up here. No photos in my published collection, no photo selected. Now, here's the part that's really cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my collection and I'm going to go to my port shots. Now, I know that I don't have one specific image set up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and twirl this up so that we can kind of see, I'm going to uncheck my solo mode so that I can see both my published services and my collections. And I just did that by just right clicking and unchecking my solo mode. That lets me have this open and my collections open at the same time. Now, let's say, for example, I want to take something that sits inside of my portfolio section and I want to be able to publish it on 500px. Let's say I want to take this image right here and publish it. I want to make sure that I have some information saved for this. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and drag it into my public collection for 500px. Once it's inside of here, I'm just going to get in the letter G to be able to access the grid tool. And you'll notice that there's a new photo to publish here. Once that's set, I'm going to click on the publish button right up here at the very, very top. So I'm inside this section here. I'm in grid mode. So I hit the letter G and now you see this button called publish. You can also access that by just clicking on the publish button here on the left hand side. Clicking on that. That's going to update the published collection. It's going to validate the profile. It's asking me for a title, a description, and a category. So in this case, I'm going to put in 
white model. Tattoos cover this model in this high key image. And it's going to give me a category of people. Once I do that, I'm going to click on the publish button. It publishes all of this information. And now, if we were to go back into 500px and do refresh, you'll notice that that information shows up right here. White model. And if I click on this, it shows my information here. Tattoos cover this model in this high key image. Now, what I like about this is that I can say, wow, I did not know white on white would look so cool. If somebody were to leave a comment and you click on a comment section here, you'll see that that shows up there. The moment that you have a comment inside of there, you'll notice that inside of your collection here, if you go to your published collections, you can come over here to the right hand side and all the way at the very, very bottom, you have a section that says comments. Now, right now it shows up that there's no comments, but you have a refresh button right here on the left. Clicking on this, it'll go out and it'll get all of those comments. Now, what's even better about this is that inside of here, you can go ahead and say, Hey, thanks so much. I like this shot too. So you have the option to be able to also respond to all of this. Now, if I were to go back, I'm just going to get in refresh and see if any new comments came in, but it looks like nothing did, but I'm going to hit my refresh here. Thanks. I like the shot too. So you can have a dialogue for all of this information built right inside of here. And that's the part that I think that's really, really cool. So it's a great way for you to be able to take this and have a communication as well as have a place where you can manage all of the pictures that you're putting onto 500 PX right from inside of Lightroom. If you want to follow more on myself, you can always just go to gplusrc.com. And as always, you can always visit me at 500px.com forward slash about RC.